Congratulations on your purchase of the Knox T3 Home Sleep Monitoring System. Today we're going to look at all the parts and pieces that come with your system and how to set up and prepare for your first patient. It's easy to do, so let's get started. What's included in your case is the monitor for the home sleep test, the pulse oximeter, the bruxism leads, the cannula for breathing, two belts that will connect with your monitor and hold it on while you're sleeping, batteries of course, and the USB cable for connecting the monitor to the computer software, as well as easy to refer to instructions for when you're meeting with the patient. All right, in preparation for our patient this afternoon, we want to load the patient's personal information onto the monitor so that it's ready for him to take home. To start with, you want to open the battery compartment door, which is used by using a pen and pushing into this hole and sliding forward, and then it will pop open. From here, you can see that you can either load in the battery or put in the USB cable. For right now, we're going to start with the USB cable. the initial page of the Noxternal software that comes with your Nox T3 monitor. At this screen you have a few options. One, once you have some recordings you can review them. This is where we're going to focus today on starting a new recording and when your patient returns the monitor to you this is where you would download and view your recording. So to start with we're going to plug in the USB cable that is connected to your monitor. What you will want to watch for is here in the upper right hand corner, you will see your monitor connected. All right, now that we have our monitor connected, which we can see here, we're going to start a new recording in preparation for our patient's visit. This is the information that shows all your parts and pieces are connected. And the first time through, you will need to add the pin number of the pulse oximeter that, pulse oximeter that you're using. And you'll notice that I've connected the pin number here to the software on the screen. Next up on the software, you click Next. We're going to have um, the patient manually start the recording. You could automatically do it, but it's a little easier for your patients if you allow them to do it manually. We're going to use alkaline batteries in the, the monitor. And here we're going to enter the patient's name. Today's patient is Mike Perlick, and we'll add his name. He is a male, and um, I am going to put in his um, birth date as um, May 3rd, 1965. If you have other papers, information you can add it the more information the better for the physician that's going to potentially read the report but it's not a requirement so we are going to now say yes we want to start a new recording and it is now configuring in our device our device has been configured with this check mark it will automatically disconnect our device from the software for us and as I click OC, OK, you will see that the device is no longer connected. All right, now we're going to prepare the home monitoring system for the patient and put together as much of it as we can before the patient gets here to make it easier as we explain to the patient what to do. All right, first let's disconnect the USB cable port. We don't need that anymore. And we'll move that out of the way. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the battery while we have the compartment open. I recommend one battery per night to help extend the life of the monitoring system to make sure it will last. Next step is that we want to attach the second part of the monitor to the back. We're going to use the two vertical clips and if you can see the clips on here we're just going to snap them on. Once you do this, you do not need to continue to disconnect this part unless it's easier for you when you're working with the software. 
Next, we're going to prepare one side of the belt onto the system so that when the patient gets here, we only need to attach the second part of the belt. On the monitor is where you'll put one of the belts and you'll see a clip there and the clip on the belt and you'll slide them together and attach them. And then for this part of the monitor that rests over the stomach area, we're going to do the same thing. We have a clip there and a clip here. We'll put them together and attach them. We'll leave the second side of the belt open until the patient gets here. We have a few more parts to add to the monitor before our patient gets here. The first is the cannuli, which we're going to push into the first hole onto the monitor and it just pushes right on in. I leave the rest of the cannula in the bag because it's personalized and it keeps it a little cleaner for the patient when they get here. The second part is the bruxism lead. We're going to put one end of the lead in the first hole. Do you see the two holes here for the monitor? And then one into the second hole. And there we have attached the bruxism leads. The final part of this is attaching the EMG part to the end of the bruxism leads. Note the connection pieces here that we'll just snap on and then take the second part of the lead and snap that on. When the patient gets here, we'll show them how to attach it to their cheek. All right, the final step is to put the batteries in the pulse oximeter. To do that, you'll want to loosen the strap in the back and open the battery compartment door. Put in your batteries. Close the compartment door and pull the strap back into place. To verify that the batteries are working, you can put your finger in the probe of the pulse oximeter and see that everything is working fine. So Mike, uh, today I'm going to show you how to put on the home monitoring system that we want you to sleep with tonight so that we can get an evaluation of how you're sleeping um, and any sleep disordered breathing that okay. we might be looking at. Uh, the monitor is very simple to put on, so I'm going to show you today, and, um, and it's very comfortable to sleep in, so you'll hardly notice it at all. All right. All right. I've set up a lot of it already to start with so that you can take it home just this way. We're going to start by attaching the monitor to your shirt. So if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to pull in your shirt here a little bit and just attach this part of the monitor. There you go. So that's not so bad so far, right? No, not at all. All right. So the next part we're going to do is put the belt on. So if you wouldn't mind wrapping, strapping that around here, I'll hold these cables. And what you're going to do is attach the belt up to that snap right there. Perfect. Okay. Now the next one that we want to do is this one. We want to do the same thing going around your stomach. Okay. Okay, we'll draw your way. Perfect. Okay. Uh, the next two pieces, we're going to use the cannula for your breathing. Have you ever had one of those before? No, I haven't. Okay, well this one is um, just out of the bag, just for you. So we'll take it out. So to put this part on, what we're going to start with is by putting the cannula in your nose, and then we'll take the straps and wrap them around your ear. There you go, perfect. And so if um, it feels loose or you feel like it might be sliding off, you're able to put two pieces of tape right here to hold it if you feel the need to do that. And the last step is the bruxism lead so that we can determine how hard or if you are bruxing at night and how hard you might be bruxing at night. Um, the mass, we're going to put this on your masseter muscle, which is right here on the side of your cheek. And so if you open and close and feel which muscle is moving, mm -hmm. that's the muscle we're putting this on. So tonight, when you're ready to put this on, peel the tape back and then just put this here on the masseter muscle. It's easier if you put the cords going off the back and you may even want to wrap them up inside your shirt uh, so that they're not hanging loose. Okay. okay. So if you hold on to that for a second, we'll say that that's attached. The final piece is the pulse oximeter, and that's a lot like wearing a watch. Okay. Okay. So we're going to just slide this on, on with the watch. There we go. Is that comfortable? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
and then we're going to put the finger probe in on your finger and push it all the way to the end. Is that comfortable? Yes. Okay, and you can see it's starting to work. Kind of go. All right, so this is what you'll wear tonight when you're ready for bed. So you get into bed, turn TV off, turn lights off, all those type of things, and when you're ready to go to sleep, I'm going to have you turn the monitor on. Okay. okay. To turn the monitor system on, you're going to push the center button just long enough to see the screen light up. Okay. We'll give it a second. All right. Now, um, this means it's ready for you to choose when you want to start recording. So to start recording, we're going to press and hold, and you're going to watch it run across and do the recording. And when that's finished, now you can see it's starting to time. The final thing that I want you to do before you go to sleep is I want you to put your teeth in inclusion, to put your teeth together, okay. and I want you to bite down hard five times. Bite down as hard as you can. Perfect. And now, go to sleep. And what that's going to tell us is how you would bite hard now will tell us, uh, give us a comparison for what you might be doing in the middle of the night. When you get up tomorrow, all you need to do is hold the center button down until it stops recording. Take the system off, same way we put it back on, and bring it into us. And then we'll be able to review the data and see how you slept. Great.